Yes, your mom, babe. You're coming from my mom's place? Yes. At this time? There was, there was traffic on the road. It was, it was really bad. Traffic? Yes. Where did you experience the traffic? The, 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 the De Declan Drive. Declan Drive? You experienced traffic at Declan Drive? Yes. Right? Yes. I didn't know Declan Drive had, now has traffic. FYI. I'm just coming from my mom's place. Yes, I knew you had plans. And I decided to follow you. My mom told me you dropped her off and left a few minutes later. No, babe, I actually dropped her off. Then I, 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 I... You are lying to me! Where are you coming from? There's traffic. And I, I waited better, a little. Don't lie to me. Because yeah. I know, I know that you went to see him. So tell me, where are you coming from? So, Samantha, where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Where? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I want to divorce my wife. Excuse me. She's cheating on me. What are you talking about? I've done all I can to make her stop, but she's adamant. Wait. You mean this has been going on for a while? So, um, how did you find out? It's a long story. Come on, man. I have all the time. And you need to talk to me so that I can be sure the best advice to give you. My mind is made up. Or what exactly? Divorcing her. <sighs> Adrian, are you sure this is not just an accusation? She could sue you if she found if she finds out. Okay, so tell me, what evidence do you have? I'm not sure what it is, but I'm suspecting her. I said it. I knew you're not sure. How can you just wake up and, and, and say your, your wife is cheating on you? She's been acting weird. How? I, I, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Adrian, do you want me to tell you the truth? What? I think you found another woman abroad. And you're making up these excuses just so you can elope with her. Yeah, which kind of talk be that? I don't understand. It seems to be you. Okay, tell me. Why would you just wake up one morning and just claim that your wife is cheating on you? To the extent that you're, you're even threatening to divorce her? You know what? Just forget that you and I had this conversation. <laughs> mm, see? Yeah, you know, you know well, though. They need to check your brain. I'm not, I'm not, sure, you're, I'm not sure you're okay. This guy. <laughs> Kate. Kate, I want to see you. Come in your sexiest best. You will be here overnight. Yeah, Katie dear. What do you want me to get for you? Okay, you have it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Do you know what I'm wearing? <laughs> I'm waiting. Come now. All right. Kate. 
cage, cage is an animal. Hello. Oh, my darling, when are you coming over? Darling, I thought I told you my mother-in-law is around. With giving excuses, I want to see you. I miss you so much. I missed you too, but it's just... No, please, darling, you've got to come. Come over, when are you coming? I can't. I can't, okay? My husband, my husband is... He's... He's around. Okay, you know what? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Promise, I'll see you tomorrow. No, 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 you have to come today. Okay, fine, fine. My husband just stepped out and I can't leave mom all alone in the house. When he comes back, I'll come see you, okay? Forget your husband, darling. Come, I miss you, I'm waiting for you. All right, see you soon. All right, I am waiting for you, all right? I miss you, baby, I want you to come. Why why are you going to? I'm going home. Why? I miss my house. Mom, this house is your house too. Mm -mm. And besides, mom, you're not feeling fine and you don't need to be alone. You and Adrian are not helping my health. I know. I know. Okay, you see, we're having some misunderstandings. But he's my husband. We'll sort it out. Don't worry. We always do. I've been here for a whole week. But my presence is not, you know, bringing about any difference. I know. Mom. At least just wait, let him come first before you go. I've already called him. He's coming to he's coming to pick me. Mm. Um, um, mommy, I I can I can go drop you. Call him, tell him I'm waiting for him. Okay, I I'll call him. Mm. Mom? Yes? He's not picking. Whichever. Okay, let me just let me just quickly dress up. Okay, I'll come then we'll go. Okay, I'm coming, Mark. Mm. I'm coming. I'm coming. to reduce how frequently we see. Why? Because of my husband. He's beginning to suspect me. He even knows where we meet. Oh, don't worry, I can handle him. No, it's threatening my marriage. What if he colludes with your counterpart? What if he sells you out? Mm. 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 Senator. You know it won't take him much to bring you down politically. Or do you want to risk everything you've labelled for just because of a woman? He can't do it. Hmm. Do not underestimate him all. Well, he might not be able to do much. But what do you think will happen if he gets in contact with one of your political enemies? Kate, why are you telling me all this? I'm telling you this because I care about you. And also because I want you to stop saying Samantha. Just take me in her place. Kate, Samantha is your friend. Isn't it a disservice to her? Senator, just pay her off. She's in this just because of the money, trust me. Just pay her well and she wouldn't need you anymore. Kate, Samantha and I have a lot in common. Well, that may be true, but trust me, money is the center of attraction. If you just pay her, she would, she would just disappear like you never existed. Please, don't let her husband ruin you just because of this.
What is it? I was just thinking about what you said. Why? Someone told me that before. I'm not saying Adrian is dangerous. He's not capable of doing anything evil. But he can be used too. I don't know about that either. <sighs> Samantha. Yes. Samantha, I'm willing to give you up. Why would you say something like that? Huh? What do you really want? I want you. Samantha, Samantha, Samantha. What mm. do you want? What do you want? Okay, I... I want something. Mm -hmm. What is it? I want money. Remember I told you that I'm trying to finish the building for my father? Mm. I need like 10 million. I'll give it to you. Are you serious? Thank you, come here. Oh my god, thank you. You. I'll give you the problem. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We were going home. Uh, what is this in it all? Samantha! Please now! Let's let's go together. You can wait at the bar. That way now, Adrian spy, even if he sees us, he won't hold anything against me. Now let's go. Go where? I beg, I beg, I beg. I know they do that kind of escort. Oh, no. You listen, I've warned you to stop seeing this man. But your grade will not let you listen. You're on your own now. Please, I'm going to my house. Oh, yeah, babe, come in. Please now. Samantha, what is wrong with you? So you want trek? I will trek. At this point, I will trek. Go. Your friend is not home. I know. It's you I came to see. Chris. Okay. What's going on? I'm just curious. What are you doing with the horrid one? What kind of question is that? A woman that leaves her husband to be with another man just because of money and the husband is still keeping her is it love or what kate please leave i know you're broken samantha has hurt you so much and you need someone to heal and suit your heart with love and care and that person is you. Yes. Let me feel your heart, Kitty Paul. Samantha doesn't deserve a sweet and loving guy like you. Are you any better? Please, get out of my house. 
Did you see your house? Yes, my house. Really? Hi, girlfriend. Yeah, I thought you were around, so I just stopped by. You knew I was not going to be around, so it's fine. Come on now. You said you weren't going to be away for long. So when I decided not to go home, I just decided to come around and wait for you. I know, but even at that, you should have just called me first. I'm sorry. My phone went off. Oh, yeah. it's okay. And I even just got here now. Welcome, okay? Come here, just uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. How far? You didn't go again. This voice. Amazing. Couldn't go. I couldn't go through with it. I was just feeling guilty, like I was doing something very bad. I felt too guilty. I couldn't. Mm. Just had to come back home. Please. What's how? Excuse me. Okay. I'm sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm good. Smells on the key. Custom key. Smells on the key. Come first. Let me just be in my room. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Bye, Louis. Senator, why don't you give her a break? I mean, she almost lost her marriage just because of you. She's in that marriage because of me. Three years down the lane and you're still asking for more. She's not complaining, so why are you complaining? <laughs> but I am, I'm complaining. And I feel guilty because this was all me. Oh, Kate, Kate. You've been paid well. You are still being paid well. Why are you complaining? Senator, what if I want more than just the payments? Is that why you came here? Stop. Forget about her. Mm -hmm. Let's have something stronger. Kate, stop this nonsense. Stop it. Senator, you were supposed to be mine. Before your heart got sweet and got caught with Samantha. Mm? Is that why you came here? Stop it. I came here to take my place. Your place? What place? Senator, I want to be with you. I want to be as special as Samantha is to you. You can't be that special. She's unique. It really baffles me how well you speak of Samantha, even more than you do of your own wife. You don't know about me. Well, I do know that you love her more than you love your wife. And if she wasn't married, you don't mind taking her as your wife. Get out, Kate. Get out. You've done enough. Get out. Let's think about this. Mm? I can take all those booty calls that Samantha can take because of her husband. Kate, okay. get out of my Senator, come on. Get out now before I call the dogs. Get out! Get out! We've already collected the dams. Get out. Sweetest thing that has happened to me. Baby, I'm serious. Look, I think you're scared of me.
did I just see? What did I just see? Down there. Huh? Who's that man? Why was he touching you? Why was he holding you? Why was he kissing you? I'm talking to you. Babe, he's the he's he's the man responsible for for all the good life we've had. My best to keep this away from you for so long and now you found out <laughs> now you know the truth I love you. I love you, babe, and I'm your wife. I would always remain your wife. Baby, it's okay. Just calm down. Eh? Everything will be just fine. No, he's going to hate me. Baby, trust me. He's only going to love you more when he finds out the reason why you did what you did. No, babes. No man. No man can condone infidelity. And the way he found out in his own living room. You said, why did you bring Senator to your matrimonial home? <laughs> that is so wrong. Bringing babes, he only escorted me to the door and we started talking and kissing. And why would you let him walk you to your door? Samantha should have just been more careful. I know, but then... I didn't know he was going to surprise me. Have you guys spoken today? No, I was with Senator all through today. I just saw his message when I tried to call you. And what was the message? He said, I miss you, babe. Can't wait to see you. Put a heart emoji. You could have been at the airport when he sent that message. Apparently he was. And you know, he told me three days ago, after his last paper, that when he comes back, he's going to surprise me with breakfast. And he met a bigger surprise. <sighs> babe, I don't know what to do. What am I going to do? Baby, just have to calm down, okay? Just calm down. Let's just see what his next move will be. Okay. 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 Come on. Just calm down. Finished. 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 Why did you switch off your phone? Oh my god, how can I be so stupid? What did I do to myself? Hello, Kate. My husband hasn't come home yet. No, babes, this is past 11, and Adrian never stays out late.
God. I could have been so stupid. <laughs> what did I do? What did I do to myself? I'm so sorry I'm calling you by this time. I'm so sorry. Please, is Adrian with you? I've been trying to reach him. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank God, thank God you're still awake. I've still not found Adrian. He's nowhere to be found. I've, I've, I've called his friends and some of them said they don't know where he is. What am I going to do? What? I can't just sit down here quietly when I don't know where he is or how he's faring. I'll go there in the morning. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry I disturbed you. Thank you. I can't sleep. I can't. What's your daughter doing? Fine, let me call you back. Let me help you a Thank you. Okay, okay. Welcome. Oh, okay, my dear. So, where is your husband? Um, he's not in. He's not in, ma. But he told me you people are coming to see me yesterday. Yes. And I waited. I did not see you. And you did not even call. Sorry, sorry. I was so sorry. Something came up. It's okay. But you know what? I went extra mile to prepare a special meal for you too. Oh, mommy, so sorry. So sorry. Fine. Here is the bitter lip soup. That's it? Yes, I Thank you. Mommy, come, come here. here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to take this to the kitchen then. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Samantha, yes. I already told you, Adrian is not here. I've not seen him. Then where is he? Samantha, I don't know. I can't lie to you. Oh my God. Why are you crying? Stop crying. What's the problem? Did you guys have a fight? Yes, yes, we, we argued yesterday and he left angrily. And since then, you've not, you've not reached him? No, his phone is switched off. His phone is off. This is not good. Just to put yourself together. Hmm? Okay. I'll reach out to some of our mutual friends to see if any of them have seen him. If I get any positive response, I'll let you know. Thank you. But, but you, you need to stop crying. Please help me. I need to see my husband. Just go home and take care of yourself. Okay. I'll do everything to make sure I find him. Eh? Thank you. Just stop crying. I'm stop so crying. sorry for this. Is Samantha. Samantha. Ma? Ma? Are you okay? I'm okay. You don't look okay. I'm fine. I'm okay. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Nothing. I'm okay. You are not looking your usual self. 
since you came back from the brief outing, you even look worse. Is something wrong? Nothing is wrong. I'm fine. Where did you say your husband went to? I don't know. You don't know? Yes. We, we had an argument and then he got angry and left the house angrily. I've not been able to reach him since. My son? This is not Adrian's attitude. How can he just leave the house and he's not back up to this very moment? It's just a small argument. I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I sold his land. You did what? Yes, I sold the land he wanted to use to build a school. Samantha. Why did you sell his land? This is wrong. I know. <laughs> okay, and what did you do with the money? Well, he needed the money abroad where he was doing his advanced studies. They said if he doesn't pay up seven million naira, they will send him back to Nigeria and I couldn't let that happen. I didn't want to disturb anybody. Did you explain this to him? He didn't even give me the chance to. Hmm. You are a good wife. I would have done the same. But don't worry. I will talk to him. Okay. Do, do you have an idea where he will possibly be? No. I don't know. But I know he will come back to his senses and come back home. of anger is this you got us worried we were just about going to report you missing at the police station missing yeah. how who said i'm missing come on man you disappeared for three days what are you expecting where have you been i went somewhere you went somewhere samantha acted as a mother any mother will try to save a situation that is endangering a child. Please, don't pay her back this way. Yes, baby. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why? Baby, please forgive me. Adrian. Come on, man. You need to forgive her. She's sorry. This past three days has been traumatizing for her. She wouldn't eat, sleep, or even do anything. Come on, man. Forgive her. Why are you looking at her like that? Do you want to strangle her? I should, and I would, if I had my way. Hmm. You are so ungrateful. What if she has sold the land and used the money to buy material things? What would you have said? You are, even, you are not even happy. She, you, you have a wife who cares about you, about your growth and your future. My, my what? Come on, man. Mom sees right. You need to calm down. I'm leaving. I thought you were over with your course. Babe. I'm leaving you. I'm leaving this marriage. No, Everything. No, babe. Please, I beg 
think you wouldn't do this to us, baby. Please, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Please, if you leave me, I'll kill myself. I'm serious. I, I will kill myself. You know what? You should actually be executed baby. for what you did. Yes. You want to die? Hmm? Go and Google easiest way to die. If I'm not joking, I've killed myself once and I'm going to do it again. What do you mean you've killed yourself once? Huh? What does that mean? This, all this, the sacrifices that I've made, I would do it again. It's not nice. It's not pleasant, but I did it for you. I did it for us. Daddy, guess what? You got wanted at work? No! Your baby girl is taken! <laughs> By who? Daddy. Who else? Adrian, of course. That's the bad news. You can't walk. Why? He can't marry you now. He can't. No, Daddy. Look, I already told him yes. You should go back and tell him no. You can't marry him. I can't. I love him. I love him so much and he loves me too. And who told you that love is all you need to get married? Daddy, love is the number one thing. Love is principle, Daddy. Well, that's a lie. A big lie that young people use in getting themselves into victims and frustration. Eh? I and your mother was a victim of that lie. I'm telling you the truth. How? But Daddy, <laughs> the only thing you told me about your mom that was tragic was that she died while giving birth to me. So what are you saying? That's true. Your mother died out of complication during your birth. Simply because I couldn't pay for a pint of blood that was needed to administer to her. You see, how do you say such a thing? So baby, how do I entrust my only daughter to a man that cannot take care of her? Eh? I still live with the pains of how your mother died because I couldn't just pay for a pound of her blood. Baby. You are my only daughter. Daddy, please. Daddy, I love him now. Samantha, please understand me. Daddy, you too, please. Please too. I love him. You need to understand that. He needs to. Can you imagine he's still living with his mother? I know, but we're thinking of getting an apartment. Oh, really? Yes. Adrian has that much? Uh, not really. Maybe like a one-room apartment. Ah, agree. No, Samantha, what is one-room apartment? <sighs> eh? I don't understand. He needs to get a job so he can take care of you properly. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. I, I love him. You love him? Yes, I love him so much and he loves me too. If I give him this ring, he'll be so devastated. Trust me. Samantha, do what? What if he just accepts this man that is disturbing you? Eh? I mean, he has money and he's not looking for commitment. He just wants a side check. Babe, please, please, please and please. I can't cheat on Adrian. I can never do that. You can't cheat on Adrian. Then he should do something now. He should, he should get a job or just do something to help his life. Stop this. It's not like he's helpless. He's do he will find a way. I can't cheat on him. Ah. You can't cheat on your fiance. Yes. Fiance that can't even convince his father-in-law that he's a worthy in-law. That's an insult now, babe. Stop it. Samantha, sorry, but check this thing now. And since he loves you and is willing to marry you, just seize this opportunity and get money for both of you and start off a business. Check it now. What, what if he catches me, babe? What if he catches me? Now you won't go tell him. Now you go tell him. If I beg, just see this opportunity and get a good life for both of you. Stop all these things, whether Smith or anything. I don't want to watch. Wow. Samantha will come to see me. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, Samantha. Come, you don't want to drink? Give me a drink. <sighs> Samantha. Yeah. You're so beautiful. I'll give you seven million. Are you serious? Go on. <laughs> 
Okay, now this is what you're gonna do. Okay. Mm -hmm. You get a shop in a posh neighborhood. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And you will get a social media presence. I will. Because this is modern world, eh? Mm -hmm. I will also get you a consultant, someone that will lead you through so that you don't make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And you make money. Oh, that's when you come here. <laughs> you mean so much to me, Samantha. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What is that again, sweetheart? There's something I want to tell you. What is it? I don't want you to get angry. I... Why should I? I need you to help my boyfriend with a job. We were supposed to get married, but things have been really rough. And he's the reason I'm doing this. You have a boyfriend? Yes. But why do you have to get married? Because I love him. And he loves me too. But things have been really hard. And I'm doing all this for him. I'll help you and your boyfriend. Are you serious? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You, you mean so much to me, Samantha. I think you can take the whole bottle out. I know. Thank you. This is nice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy. I want you to be happy. I want you happy. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Now, let's toast to Samantha and the Senator. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Babe, you need to see the fine things that Senator got for me. Like, oh my god. See, babe, eh? Your girl status has changed. Babe, my status has changed. Oh my god. Calm down. Calm down. I got something for you now. You know that. You're my girl. <laughs> yes, daddy. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Where is all this from? Um, it's uh, it's Adrian. It's Adrian, Daddy. <laughs> Adrian. Yes. Where did he get money to buy all this? I started doing Yahoo Yahoo. Daddy, you know Adrian can't get his hand into anything dirty. Anyways, Adrian got his first job, and then he received his first pay, so he decided to spoil me. Well, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. I'm so thoughtful of him. Yes, it is. He's now a responsible man. Yes. Now that he has gotten a job, when my visit the marriage proposal, I'll be he's still interested. Daddy, he's still interested though. He's still interested. See, now I'm still wearing his ring. Actually, eh, he wanted to come and see you, but I was not sure if you wanted to see him. No, no problem. You now he's, he's man enough now. I wasn't convinced before, you know. Okay. But that's no problem. You can come out with Daddy! Daddy, thank you so much. Uh, baby girl. Thank you, Daddy. You are my only daughter. I'm only protecting you. I know, but my ring is fine. My dad accepted you because of your first job. That job was given to you by Senator. Why? I just wanted us to be happy. I'll do anything for you. And you know that. Why would you do that? Why? Samantha, I would have gotten a job. You didn't need to sell your body for us to get married. Please don't hate me. Please, I love you. I love you so much. Please don't hate me. What? Samantha, I should be the one that does everything for you because you're my wife. Why would I just sit back and fold my arms? What kind of man would that make me? My man. My hero. My love. My everything. I love you. You're very special to me and Sinitor knows that. Look, I appreciate the sacrifices you made for me. But you shouldn't have. It's my responsibility to protect you as a man. It's my responsibility to love you as a man. It's my responsibility to provide for you. Why would you do that? 
love you so much, baby. Please. Why? Hey, please. Please, be Sorry, I love you so much. Please. Please forgive me. Please, I beg you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I love you too. You're going to stop seeing him, right? Babe. Hey. <sighs> Babe, you're not going to work today? No. Why? But you're supposed to resume today, right? I resigned. You did what? Yes, I resigned. I can't work in that firm anymore. I can't keep taking anything from that man. Not anymore. Babe, how are we going to survive now? I'll get another job. Another job? Another job, babe? How? When? Where? Who do you even know that can get you a job of that status? I don't need to know anyone, okay? I'll figure it out. I've already submitted a couple of applications. But that's a mail stating that you're overly qualified for the job. Well, that's the response I've gotten so far, but I am positive that I'll get a better response. Babe, get up, get up, go to work. Please go, babe. <sighs> I've already submitted my resignation letter to the MD. Babe, are you, you did that without letting me know? Because it's my decision alone to make. Is that what you're telling me? Babe, you're taking us back to where we left and I don't like it. I don't like it. Listen, I'd rather stay on the ground honorably than to stay up there and take shit all in the name of wealth. So which companies did you apply to now? Martin's Auto, Muse Entertainment, and a couple of others. So you, you'll be at home with me now? We'll stay home together. We're staying home together, babe. You're jobless. Till I get a job. How do you just make decisions without letting me know? I don't like it. Just like you made a decision without letting me know. I don't like it. God, what kind of life is this? Why are we 
would Adrian choose to drag us back to where we left? See how dry everywhere is. This doesn't even look like my kitchen anymore. How do I cope with this kind of life? I've not even sent my daddy's upkeep money for this month. What do I do now? Ah, daddy must not find out that my husband is no longer working or has no money. Hello, Daddy. I'm fine. How are you? It's fine. And how are you doing? Okay, Daddy. I would call my husband so he can send you upkeep money, okay? You're welcome, Daddy. Take care. You know, darling, I'm just thinking I could get these boys to start my campaign for me. But I, I don't want rowdy things, I, you know. I... So you're not saying anything. What's happening, baby? What? Oh, uh... I know you, my darling. Something is wrong. What's it? <laughs> it's nothing. I'm, I'm fine. You're having crisis for your marriage again? Thanks for your concern, but I can't discuss my marital issues with you. Can I be of help? How? <clears throat> it's not very difficult. I just organize a getaway for you both so you can come back to each other. Hey, come here! Oh my God, come here! <laughs> And you know what that means? What? So I can have my sweet girl back. Yes, you have me back already. I'll accept it without blinking. That's my darling. Come oh. here. You're so sweet. Thank you. You're so beautiful. Thank you very much. You know you're such an angel. Stop. <laughs> but I need something else. What is it? Money. How much is that? A lot of money. Yes, my rent is due and I need to get some stuff for the house. So I need like five million. Mm. I transfer that to you. <laughs> you spoil me so much. Oh my god. You're worth it. You're worth everything on earth. You're a goddess. Thank you. And I'm gonna keep on taking care of you, my daddy. You can. I'll do anything for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come here. Thank you. Babe. Yeah. You know this is wrong. I thought you were supposed to stop seeing him like promised. I will stop this. But you know, it's not going to be so sudden now. If not of the money that Senator has been pumping, maybe for choke me, you know. And what if your husband finds out that you're just seeing this man? Your husband? Who's going to stop him? Babe, the game is tighter now. It's not going Samantha. to Samantha! Samantha! Hmm. Calm down now. Look, once I finish building this house for Adrian and I, I will stop and everything will be fine. You know now, you get all this. I don't get, I don't get anything. In fact, I don't want to get. And also, I didn't warn you. Samantha, I'm warning you now. Don't. Calm hmm. down, he's not going to find out. Trust me, Adrian does not even have any clue. Trust me now. Uh -uh. Mm. Don't say I didn't tell you, that's my own. Because later on you start crying to me, I'm not here. Mm -mm. You're here, you're my friend, you're yeah. here. Okay. Nothing is gonna happen. It's not gonna be a joke. Hey? Uh -huh. I think we should go on a getaway. Okay. 
To where? Paris. Paris, the city of love. Paris? Yes, please. <laughs> it's going to be too expensive and I, I don't think we're ready for that. No, babe, don't worry. I'll handle the bills, okay? He will handle it or he will. Mm. Huh? You don't want to stop, right? Stop what? He made the offer because he wants to make you happy. No. Don't lie to me. Don't you dare lie to me. You know what? It's fine. It's okay, you have my permission to get away. You can get away with him. Is that it? You're going to now use my past against me, is that it? I'm sorry if I accused you wrongly. But I'm not interested in any trip. Amy, please. Look, I already made reservations, please. And I booked ticket this evening. Really? Yes. Okay. Show me the receipts of all the payments and reservations you made. I... Uh, I, I don't have it. I, I don't have it now. You think I'm a fool, right? No, babe. No, I don't think so. Babe. Now that we can't go on the getaway. After he's wasted so much money, you have to find a way to tell him, honestly. You have to. So he can cancel it, or even better, give it to somebody that wants to make use of it. No, babe. He's going to be angry at me. I'll just look for a way to convince Adrian, that's all. Okay. Convince him if you can, but if it were you, I would just let it go. Babe, trust me. Adrian might not forgive you this time around. Well, how did he find out? How? He's a sharp guy now. Have you forgotten who your husband is? And he knows that man and woman matter know the end just like that. Ah. So he must have suspected when he said something. Babes, look, I feel bad. I feel bad. I mean, he was already beginning to trust me. He was already beginning to trust you. You say, why can't you just stop seeing that man? Eh? I've been in bed, man, six with you, Rich, so you know if you leave him. Before you contradict yourself, nobody just talks to a man or a man, and they end like that. I didn't know I was stating the facts, and I was just talking. Look, babes, Sinito has a way of making me feel safe. I mean, he, he provides for everything I need. He just has that way of providing. <laughs> God, I don't know, Sina, I'm so tired, matter we don't need just now. I mean, you want him to forget that you both are married. Especially you, a married woman in love with another woman's husband. Hmm. Don't forget that your, your partners are human beings. Now, nah, outside the deal, no, shout it. I will shout, shout it. it. I will. Nye, nye, nye. Shout it. Yes, daddy. Baby, I, I so much appreciate what you and your husband have been doing. <laughs> taking good care of me. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Baby. Yes, Daddy. Your children will do the same to you, okay? Amen, amen. Mm. Um, how about my in-law now? How is he doing? He's fine, Daddy. He's fine. Well, but tell him that he doesn't want to come and see me since he came back. Why? I know. Tell him that he's part of me. I'm his father. <laughs> you know? I'll tell him. Yes, Daddy. See, ever since his advanced training abroad, he has been busy. You know how work is now? That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I don't like lazy people. At all. You know me now. Um, Daddy, <laughs> he said I should give you this. <laughs> all this for me? Yes, Daddy. All this for me? Yes, Daddy. Oh, my baby. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, please help me to thank him. I will. I hope he has extended the same kind of fellowship to the mother. Ah, uh, you know I'll take care of right now. We take care of her too. Baby, I trust you. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. I will call him specially to thank him, okay? Okay, Daddy. My love. Thank yes, you Daddy. so much. Thank you. I love you, darling. I love you, Daddy. Whose phone did you call? Both of them. And why are you doing this? Because I want her to stop. 
I've spoken to her about it, but she wouldn't listen. I was made to understand that you talked her into this. Was that what she told you? Is it a lie? How can you even believe the words of a cheating wife? And why should I believe you either? Because the very first information I gave you about your supposed trip turned out to be true. So, so Samantha is still seeing that man? Like nothing ever happened. Mom. Hi, Mom. What? Is everything okay? Oh my goodness. I'm okay, I'm I'm coming. I'm coming now. What's the matter? My mom, she's not feeling too well. I have to go. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mom. Yeah. The hell is my car key? Hello, Senator. Hi. Uh, uh, did you did you call me? You didn't. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll call you back. Okay. Hello, Biz, where are you? Where are you? Somewhere around your neighborhood. Are you home so I can stop by? I'm not home. I'm not home, Biz. But the weirdest thing happened to me today. Did you call me? No, I didn't. Why? Ah, Biz. Now, somebody called me and it was showing Tineso's number. Only for me to pick the call and I wasn't hearing the person. I called Tineso and he said he didn't call me. I don't know what to do. Really? Yes, babes. Look, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't know what to do. I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening with my phone. Wow. That's really strange. But babe, are you close to the house so I can just hang around and wait for you? I'm not coming home, babe. I need to go and see Sinito. He wants me to see someone. Babe, again. When are you going to stop seeing that man? Babes, I've told you now. Leave this matter. Leave the matter alone. Please. Hmm. Okay, well, just know that I'm worried about you. Make Adrian no go catch you again. It's okay. Me and my husband were cool. Leave that matter alone. Adrian and I are cool and we'll always be good. If you say so. See ya. Okay, leave that me. What's going on? Hmm. I have to format this phone over. Thank you. My evidence is right. So use your tongue and count your teeth. Oh, please, can I have my glasses? Oh, okay. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes. Adrian hasn't called me as usual to know where I am. I left home since afternoon. It's almost dark, yet no call from him. Is he falling out of love with me? Adrian, my love, would have called me a million times to know where I am and why I'm not home yet. <laughs> um, so, sweetheart. Babe. You don't have to go. The night is still young. I have to go. Look, I'm worried about my husband. You see, baby, mm. since he got to know about us, you have changed. I no longer enjoy you. Don't no? say that. But don't it's the truth, say, darling. Don't say that. I don't want you to say that. But it's the truth. He's my husband, and he deserves all the respect. I know. 
I know he deserves all the respect, but don't hurt me. I won't hurt you. I'll try not to, okay? I'll try not to hurt oh, you. Oh, baby, you know, I miss you so much. I know, I know. So, is my hair still scattered? No, baby, no, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. I mean, you always need <laughs> my queen, my <laughs> goddess. I just started feeling pains all over my back oh. and my lower rib. Yes. We just came back from the hospital not quite long. They, they ran some tests on me, but we could not get the results until tomorrow. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, what mm. drugs are you taking now? Malaria typhoid. Are you, you ran a test on that too? Yes. And it was positive. So, so that was why the doctor gave me these drugs. But we we'll, we are going back tomorrow. So, so, this of God. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Mm. Thank you. I'm just gonna set water so you can bathe, okay? Okay. okay. Mm. Mom? Yes. Where's my husband? He must be upstairs. His room? In his room, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you need help or I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. Samantha, come. Yeah. Sit down. Mm. Samantha, yeah. talk to me, please. What is going on between you and my son? Nothing, Mom. Nothing. Are you sure? Mom, it's just some grievances from our last misunderstanding. That's all. Are you sure you are telling me the truth? Yes. Mom, Adrian just likes to force like a baby. That's all. Samantha, huh? Adrian is my son. I know. But Mom, the way he is with you, he's different with me. If you insist, it's fine. But I want you to know that. I am here for you. Anytime you need someone to open up to. Thank you, Mom. Okay, Thank my you. dear. Okay. Don't forget your WhatsApp. Okay. All right. All right. Good night. All right. Go have your rest. Okay, my dear. Sorry, okay. It's okay. <sighs> Stop seeing him, can you? Don't play dumb with me. I know you were with him. I know you spent the whole day with him at Brisland Hotel. Deny it. Deny it, Samantha. You what? You know, you're such a disgusting pig. Yes, you are. You are so disgusting, you're irritating, and I regret doing this with you. Baby! Don't baby me! How could you go back to him after everything we talked about? How? Am I not enough for you? Huh? Can't I take care of you? I'm doing fine. I can take care of us. So why are you still going back to him? Why? I don't care! Would you still force? Do you want her to hear us? You know what? If you want to keep sleeping with him, 
for money. Fine. It's your legs, Abby. Open it. Open it as wide as you want. Do different styles. Whatever pleases you, do it. Which is your voice? You want to sleep in it for money? Sleep. Do all the styles you want. You're shouting. Hello, sir. I'm trying to raise the money. Please get out of my sight. Get out of my sight, please. Yes. The doctor just... called that my results are ready. Oh. Okay, <laughs> let me just quickly change. I'll join you guys. No, okay. there's no need for that. But, but I want to come along. And I said no. Adrian, let her come if she wants to. Why are you stopping her? Because I don't want her to. You have an appointment today with the senator, remember? I don't want to be the reason why you miss your appointment. I can take care of my own mother. I guess oh, the meeting is more important oh, to me. Samantha. It's okay. Don't worry about me. Hmm? I'll be fine with Sidre. Sure. sure. Yes. I do. I'm scared of Adrian. Why? He keeps monitoring all my movements. He has eyes on me. How? How? Pete, did you even know that he confronted me about seeing Senator yesterday? And he knows that I want to see him today. What? I'm telling you, Beebs. Look, I'm so... I, I don't know how he knows all these deep things. Sometimes I'm shocked. Do you know that you're the only person that I I talk to about me and Senator's relationship? It's just you. So what are you insinuating? No, I'm not insinuating anything, babe. I'm just saying that maybe you told Seriously, someone... Stop, stop. Uh-uh. Told who what? I didn't tell anybody anything, I beg. Look, babe, I'm your closest friend and I would never do whatever it is you are thinking. I know, I know. But I'm so confused. I'm shocked. I don't understand. Babe, look, nobody told Adrian anything. He's just suspicious of you. Remember that once a thief is caught, he remains a suspect until he proves otherwise. No, babes. Mm -mm. I can believe that for the getaway trip discussion. But when it comes to knowing about deep things about the name of the hotel I was in with Senator and even the time duration, babes, who does that? Mm, baby, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe you should just keep things on the loo for now. <sighs> And have you stopped to think maybe you hired someone to follow you around? Mm hmm. Babes, that's true. Exactly. You have a point. But babes, you should relax now. You should, you should calm down. I just need something tangible from Senator. You should calm down. Patience. Are you listening to yourself? You should calm down. If you were in his shoes, what would you do? Would you relax? Eh? If you were seeing an older woman just because of money, would you tolerate it? You should calm down. Please, I, I don't understand. Sometimes the way you sound, I don't even know which side you're on. 
Are you on my side or which side are you on? Babe, I am on my own side. I am on my own side, I beg. I don't understand. Just forget that thing. Just calm down, I beg. Come on, shock me. Tell me you love shock. Kate, what are you doing here? That's who you were expecting to see. What are you doing here? I can't keep you company. Stop it. I want a piece of you. What do you want to give money? I give money. I am not Samantha. Samantha is more honorable than you, okay? Who wants to compete with her? Sinead, so let me feel the space. Okay. I, I know you're lonely. Samantha doesn't need you, but you need me to keep you company. Kid, why are you doing this? Are you sure you want me to stop? Salita, don't you feel me? Okay. Come on, just take me and forget about Samantha. Okay, no, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, let's go upstairs. Daughter, mm -hmm. my son, Bikori, tell me what is going on between you two? Nothing now. Oh, you both have decided to keep it to yourselves. Well, let me tell you something. I was once living with my husband just like you two are. And I know when things are not well with couples. You know what? The earlier you open up, the better for all of us. So that we can trash whatever it is as a family. Mom, nothing is wrong. Yes, yes, Mom. We're fine. Nothing is wrong. Okay. Tell me, why has your husband been sleeping in the guest room and he doesn't eat your meals? Like I said, nothing is wrong. As for the guest room, I go in there to study and I don't even sleep there. Secondly, it's a coincidence that when food is ready, I no longer have the appetite for it. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs>
pregnant. I'm pregnant, no. I can't tell kids about this. I already suspect her because I tell her everything. And yet Adrian knows about everything. I can't tell her. God, I'm pregnant. No, 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 no. I can't be pregnant. No. No. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Who is that? Oh. <clears throat> Samantha. Uh, hold on a minute. Um, why don't you go into the kitchen? Um, oh, well, just go upstairs. Go and stay in the room. Hmm. Make it fast. <clears throat> Um, Samantha there, come on in now. Mm. Yeah. Come in. Oh, darling. Why is your face like this? What's going on? What's the matter? I'm in trouble. What's the matter? I'm in trouble. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm You're pregnant? Trouble. Yes. Oh, but I thought you would marry your husband. It's not for him. It's not for him. Really? Yes. So what's the matter with pregnancy? My husband has not touched me for two months. What am I going to do? I'm finished. What am I going to do? That's not a big issue. I'll just call one of my doctors. He'll sort you out. Are you sure? I'm sure, sure, sure. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on, start going out, call him. He'll come and meet you. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. No, no, no. I'm pregnant. Just, just let's go. That's not a big issue. You should be a big girl. Ah, uh, you're pregnant. You should be a big girl. Ah. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. I am here to congratulate you. Congratulate me on what? A change of status to that of a father. Excuse me? Oh, I see she didn't tell you. Tell me what? Your wife is pregnant. <laughs> what? I'm so sorry to hurt you. I forgot she mentioned that the pregnancy isn't yours. She told you this? She told her lover. Wait, wait. You mean Samantha is pregnant for Senator? Yes, she is. And as we speak, they're on their way to see a specialist. Specialist for what? To get it aborted, I presume.
do you really want to know? Yes, I want to know. Why, why are you drinking? Did you abort the baby? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. Oh, Sammy! Did you abort the baby? You're shouting. I, I don't know what Did you abort the baby or not? Huh? Solution, no, so I can solve the problem for you. I don't know how he finds out all this. At first, I thought it was his instincts, and then I suspected my friend, but I didn't tell her about this. I didn't tell her about the baby. Eh, but my darling, someone <laughs> must have told him. Do, do you think he's training me by himself? Okay, calm down. Let me find a solution to it, okay? All right? Hmm? Come down, come down, my love, come down. Come down, my angel. Come down, my goddess. Come down, eh? Come down. Come down. I'll solve it. I'll solve it. Hmm? Come down. Come down. How could you? How could you? How could I what? Tell your friend's husband about the pregnancy. Senator, what pregnancy? Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You were here the other day. Okay, so what if I had everything? Why would I go and tell her husband? That's what I'm wanting to know. Senator, I have no idea of what you're talking about. You know, Kate, I was beginning to think we could have something together. But I'm changing my mind. I can't trust you anymore. Senator, come on. Why are you accusing me of something I know nothing about? Kate, get out of my house. Come on, Senator. I warn you, one more step. You're finished. Get out of my house, Kate. Get out now. Now! I need a coffee, babe. Big wait, wait, let me explain. I can explain, okay? I you don't owe me any explanation. Save it for the meeting with our lawyers. Lawyers? Adrian! I filed for a divorce. And my lawyer is coming with the paper by noon. 
You can't do this, Thomas. Please. Us. Thank you. Yes. Samantha, this is where it ends. I'm divorcing you. There was never us. It's always been about you and Senator. No. So please go ahead and enjoy with Senator. No, As for me, I'm out. No, baby, I can't explain. Please just listen to me. Listen to me. Let's talk. Baby, wait, wait. Baby, please, let's talk. Please, I beg you. Just listen to me. Baby, please. Baby, please, I beg you. Baby, please, listen to me. Baby, wait. Baby. Baby, wait. Baby, wait. Baby, wait. I can't explain. Baby, hold on. I can't explain, please. Babes, I'm doomed. I'm doomed. Oh, do you think I should tell his mom to tell him? Tell her what? Oh, mom, I cheated on your son and got pregnant. And now I want an abortion. I didn't get an abortion. You didn't? Yes. After we did the scan and everything, I found out that the pregnancy was his. Who's? My husband, Adrian. Are you sure? Or you just realized your foolishness and now you want to pin the pregnancy on him so he doesn't divorce you? No. I'm very sure, babes. Look, I only miscalculated because I felt like the pregnancy was recent. But then I found out that I'm three months pregnant. That means it was like three months ago and then Senator and I were not even having sex. Just hangouts. Are you sure? Yes, babes. Yes. And I remember that sex very well. That was the makeup sex I and my husband had. I told you about it, right? Well, if you say so, there is a saying that it is only a woman that knows who the true father of her child is. So I believe your claims. Why are you sounding like this? Huh? How am I sounding? You're supposed to be consoling me here. Console you? Did you fall from a tree? And did you even tell me about this pregnancy before jumping to the hospital with Senator? I'm sorry, I was so confused. You know, I shouldn't even be talking to you right now. I'm sorry now. Look, if you had told me about this, I will give you better advice now. Who know I've been here talking about your husband divorcing you or not? Okay, I'm sorry. So what would I do? I think you should just calm down for now. Because I feel if you tell him that he's responsible for the pregnancy, you just feel you're playing games with him. That's true. Let's not be so skeptical about telling him. Just calm down. What you need to do now is to think about how to talk him out of this divorce of a thing. Okay. Okay. My son. People don't just go divorced like that. You must tell us why you decided to end your marriage with my daughter. Huh? With all due respect, sir, ask your daughter. Adrian, what has come over you? <coughs> I, I hope you have not gotten a woman in that your abroad trip that is shocking you. No. Because yes. that is how you people behave. There is nothing like that. Then? <coughs> sorry. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Let me get you water. Okay? Take your towel. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go and get that water. I'm coming. Sorry. Then, then what, why would you wake up suddenly? I want to divorce your wife. This same Samantha who has been there for you. This same Samantha that made you who you are today. Thank you. Do you think you would have gone this far without Samantha? Adrian, you are not going to divorce this girl until you tell us what she has done. Why you want to divorce her? Oh, Galoya. Yes, ma'am. 
Nobody is signing anything. Yes. Just go your way. Yes, <coughs> Thank you, my dear. <coughs> oh, Chimo. Chimo. Well, ma'am, I would like to hear from my client here. Because he actually came to the office to file a case for divorce on the ground of infidelity from the wife's part. So I would like to hear from him. In infidelity? Eh? Samantha. Would you like to speak up? Or you want me to tell them everything? Hmm. You what? <coughs> is already dead. She's not dead. But her condition is very, very critical. What exactly is wrong with her? Well, they conducted the test and they saw some cancerous cells in her lower rib. And if she doesn't get her surgery done, she will die. Oh my God. The worst part is that we can't even do this test here in Nigeria. We have to do it abroad. For me, that will cost like millions of naira. 50 million naira, babe. It will. <laughs> Where are you guys supposed to get that kind of money? I don't know. I don't know. And the drugs are only going to sustain her. Just suspend the pain for a while. But if we don't take her for this, don't you, she would die. Hi, God. Would... What, kind of, what kind of problem is this one, eh? <laughs> eh? Babe, just calm down, eh? Calm down. Where's your husband? He's with her at the hospital. Calm down, okay? Don't cry. God will provide. Hmm? You should provide, please. He will. You should provide. Sorry. I love her. She'll be fine, okay? Nothing will happen to her. Okay. Stop crying, okay? Sorry, she'll be fine. Kai won't solve anything, okay? She want her to be fine. She will. She will I be love fine. Her. She's the only mother that I have.
this certificate, Adrian. That's all you have. That's all you have. Yes, 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 sir. I'm the owner of the car. It's it's fine. We we could you could come for an inspection. I'll meet I'll meet up with you. Ten a.m. is fine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Babe, mom is going to be fine. I put up the house and the car for sale and I already found someone to buy the car. I'm so happy, babe. Look, I'm so happy. I don't need anything from you. Adrian. I'll take care of my problem by myself. No, it's not just your problem. Just in case you don't know, that woman is a mom to me too. And I'll do everything possible to make sure that she gets back on her feet. Do you get me? Excuse me. Adrian, your problem is my problem. And the earlier you understand that, the better for us. I'm talking to you. I, I came to apologize. For what? For the last time, I shouldn't have took notes in your business. Oh, okay. Apology accepted. But see, Kate, we won't do this again. Are you sure? Mm. I know it's been a long time you had a good time. Let me take you there. No. Kate, 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 no. Even if I sell this house and everything we have, it's still not going to be enough for the medical and travel expenses. What I do, God help me, please. God help me, please. Pick up, pick up. What should I do? Should I call Senator? Adrian, Adrian won't let me. What I do? Hello, girlfriend. What's up? 
babes, I'm not fine. Look, even if we sell everything, the house and everything, it still wouldn't be enough. Chai, this is so sad though. But like I promised, I'll send you 200k first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. But babe, doesn't Adrian have any family members that could help? Aunties, cousins, or even uncles? Look, his mom is the richest of all the siblings. You know that. Oh, wow. Babe, do you think I should call Sinito? Hmm? Aren't you guys over yet? We are, but I know that he's going to be willing to help. But I'm scared of Adrian's reaction. Babe, this is a matter of life and death, so... Well, just, just try and see what you can do. Are you, are you saying that I should call him? I don't know. But you said think I'm... Do you think he has that much to spare? I don't know. I don't know. I'll just call him then. Okay, now just try your luck. You know, say so the man know they carry your master play. Okay. 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 Babe, just chill, okay? Everything will be just fine. Okay? Okay, now. Good night. Bye. Okay. Yes. Is yes, yes, ma, that's what I told your husband. Okay, so how much do you say is the car again? Okay, ma, I actually bought this car for eight million, but because of everything I'm going through, I'll sell it for you for six million, ma. Sorry? Ma, I, I said six million, ma. Ah, six million? Yes, ma. For Tokumbo? Niger used car. No, no now. Ah, uh, you should take it down, please. No, ma. The car is actually very good. The engine, everything is perfect. Please help me, please. I know, but did you see the body? I'll actually do a body work on this car. No, you see you, the scratches everywhere. You just have to spray it, ma. The engine is fine. Please help me. I beg you. I okay, beg you know you. what? Because yes, of your predicament, huh? I'll just give you for two point five. Yeah, that would be nice. Ma, 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 ma. I cannot. I can never sell this car for two point five. Ma, fear God now. Please just help me. Five million is what I can do last. Five million Naila? Yes, ma. Five million and that's it. Not even 4.5? No, ma. That's, ma, I already told your husband all this. Please. Okay, you know what? Let's not stretch it. That'll be fine. Thank you, ma. Okay, so... You. God bless you. Let's go in for payment and hope the papers are in. <laughs> You're ready. You're ready, ma. All right, let's Thank go. you. Okay, ma. Take it easy, ma. I feel your pain. I am so, so sorry. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I, I'm so helpless. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Jenny. Okay. Thank you so much for keeping your company. Come on, that's okay. How are you? Fine. Uh, Samantha. I really need you to stay strong for him. I will. Uh, babe, I went to the bank and I checked all my accounts. All I could come up with is 11 million. Let me transfer it to you now. I told you I don't want anything from you. Please. Why? Why is that? If you want your mom dead, then go get a gun and shoot her. If not, then I'm going to the hospital and I'm making this deposit. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? What is the problem? I'm not going to take money from her, especially when I don't know where it's coming from. Come on, man. If you ask me, all of that doesn't matter right now. This is a matter of life and death. My mom is not going to die. Mm. 
Hello? Yeah, doctor. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. So what's up, man? Guy, I need 25 million naira to get my mother out of this country in the next 24 hours. Samantha, where are you? We need to get mom out of this country in the next 24 hours. The doctor called and said that we can fly her out of the country with 25 million and then after the surgery, we can balance the remaining 25. Why are you quiet? Where are you? I know you mentioned 11 million error. Let's just take that to the hospital and see what happens next. Okay, I'll be on my way. Samantha, it's not what you think. What? <sighs> Kate, you? No, Samantha, no. Samantha. I know she's the only woman that I can comfort in this life. God, please help me. God, please save my mother in law, please. Please.
Hello, Samantha, where are you? Come to the house. Come to the house now. Come, come. I want to see you. Yes, I am okay. All right. Daddy, I'm here. <sighs> Samantha, sit down. Daddy. I said you should sit down. Um, okay, um, give me your account details. Daddy, you have it. It's still that same account number. Okay, same number. Yes. One minute, eh? Okay. Okay, check your phone. My phone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Daddy! You you sent me this kind of money, Daddy. Thank you. Daddy, My love. Thank you so Come much. On. Thank you. God bless you. It's all right, dear. I was keeping this money for my grandson. Oh. I wanted to gift it to him when he's ten. But what will I do? But I think my in-law, your mother, needs it more now. Okay. Daddy, I never knew you had this kind of money. It took more to sacrifice you, Daddy. My daughter, I'm doing it for you. Okay? Since that woman fell ill, you have not been yourself. I've been so shattered. Okay? So, I know if she does not make it, it's going to affect you. Okay? Yeah. Go and pay the bills. Okay? Go. Daddy. Yes, dear. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Your grandchild is on the way. Serious? Yes, I'm pregnant and I'm three months gone. God, I thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to be a grandfather. Yes, daddy. Oh, ah, God, thank <laughs> you, thank you. Oh, that i Thank you. Ah. Thank God I am back home. My daughter, I cannot thank you enough. My God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Come. Come. Yes, this is what you're thinking. I'm pregnant. Oh, thank <laughs> God. Thank God, oh. Thank God for keeping me alive to carry my own grandson. So, my two hands will do a mugo. Yes. Hey! <laughs> come and join me, <laughs> sing hallelujah. Mama. Hey! Mama hey. Means me. <laughs> Adrian, we need to celebrate this. Get us a drink. Is it a serious? <laughs> so me well. Let's, let's, let's leave all this energy for when your grandson arrives. If you say so, okay. Okay. Yes. Thank You're you. You're happy, Abby. Ah. Why are you looking at me like that? You didn't abort the baby. What? I'm not going to father another man's child. No. The baby is yours. What do you mean? I know I can't prove it to you now. There's nothing I will say that you believe me, but maybe a DNA will do. Samantha. Yes. It's funny that after everything, I still love you. Sorry. 
I'm sorry for the kind of wife that I turned out to be. But I'm never, ever going back to that life, I promise. The only promises you cannot keep. No, babe. Look, it's a resolution I made when I found out that that the baby is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much for what you did for my mom. I can't, I can't tell you how grateful I am. You're welcome. Stop seeing my mom. She's our mom. This is Mr. Okola. Yes? Are you are you serious? Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, bye. Babe, what's, what's going on? Babe, you won't believe this. What? I told you about a couple of companies that I submitted my applications to before I left Canada after my studies. Yes, yes, and? <sighs> One of the companies just offered me a job. Babe. This is this we need to celebrate. Mm -hmm. we, we definitely need to celebrate. Yes, wines, <laughs> drinks, absolutely, everything. Absolutely. Can I scream? <laughs> 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 